Hello. Uh, I wanted to focus on one particular aspect of the N-Gage. Uh, I've been carrying it around now for a day or so, trying to use it as a telephone, trying to use it uh, you know, for games, and trying to generally put it, uh, put it through its paces. Um, for starters, talking uh, on the N-Gage like it was a telephone requires you to do this. Hold it up to your phone like this. The earpiece right here, microphone down here. Now this is sort of like holding a Choco Taco up to your head. I don't know if you've ever done that. Um, but I don't recommend you do it because you get chocolate all over your face. With this, you won't get the chocolate all over your face, but you also can't really balance it in your shoulder. Uh, maybe that's a good thing because you're not supposed to really use the phone in the car. That's probably the only time I would want to do that. But uh, the inability to do that kind of irks me. The phone does have a speakerphone setting where you can actually just uh, set it down and, and uh, people's voices will come out of it. And that seems to work pretty well. It also has the, the cool Uhura kind of uh, Bluetooth headset thing as well as some other wired headsets. But uh, the Uhura one is... It's 120 bucks, but dude, it's it's wireless, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the games go, um, the the software quality is kind of sketchy right now. The games aren't finished yet, so a lot of the 3D stuff appears to be really unoptimized. We're getting uh, sluggish frame rates. MLB Slam currently doesn't have any sound, so we're gonna withhold judgment on that stuff for now. But uh, one thing we can really talk about is uh, the process by which you have to go through to uh, swap games. Um, now you know there's been a lot of uh, stink made about this so far. You have to take the, you have to basically field strip your end gauge to change games. And uh, what we're going to do right now is show you what it would take. You take the back uh, of the case off. Then you're left with the battery. You take the battery out. Battery's out. Then you have to slide the card out. This is pandemonium right here. Then you put your game in. We're just going to put, put uh, pandemonium back in because so far that's the only game I'm having fun with. Then you put the battery back in, then you put the case back on. Now, uh, in and of itself, that's not that big of a hassle and something you definitely get used to. The real problem comes from having to turn the end gauge back on. Uh, you see you've removed the battery, so now it no longer has any power. This power-up process actually takes around 30 seconds to complete. And from there, the game doesn't actually automatically start. You have to go all the way into the main menu, use the D-pad here, the rocker, they're calling it, uh, you scroll down to the game, which is at the bottom of the list of items, and then you push the rocker in, and then it will load the game. And uh, many of the games actually have loading times associated with them as well. So all this kind of adds up to uh, a pretty big hassle to actually get into a game and start playing it. Um, considering that there are buttons right here for the MP3 player, the radio, and the main menu, why, why isn't one of these a start game button? It's the Nokia N-Gage Game Deck. Game Deck, right in the title. But yet you have to jump through hoops to play games. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Especially when you consider something as uh, pretty pointless as an FM radio. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty much done with the radio. Uh, radio stations, particularly here in San Francisco, not playing music that I want to listen to. Uh, I'd gather that many people in the uh, 20 to mid-20 demographic that Nokia is chasing with this thing are probably pretty fed up with the radio as well. Uh, so why not put the radio, it's, the radio is actually on the menu so you can get to it that way. Why isn't this just a start game button? It could have just started the game and, and then you could be playing. Um, that, that's pretty much my, my main beef with the unit. Um, for something that they're trying to pitch as a game system, it just doesn't seem very convenient to actually play the games on it.